Hello everyone, so I just realized this morning that I can use one of the books that I was using for the Disney Channel Readathon for also the Reindeer Games because look, it's got green and red on the cover. So this is my new Christmas tree, Christmas lights prompt book. It's Reflections of a Wine Merchant um, on a Lifetime in the Vineyards and Cellars of France and Italy by Neil Rosenthal. And I'm about halfway through this book. I'll finish it today because I need to for the Disney Channel one. Um, but so far, I'm actually really enjoying this. This is a nonfiction book about Neil's journey becoming and being a wine merchant. And I've learned so much about wine and it just kind of takes us through his journey and takes us to not only France and Italy, like it says, and all the different various vineyards there, but also to California and how he tried to dabble there and all the different um, vineyards and wine makers and grape growers all across the world. And it's really fascinating. And I had no idea so much went into this. There's so, many, so much politics and whining and dining, no pun intended, and, you know, putting on faces, and it's really fascinating, so I'm really enjoying this book. It was a random book, a random pick um, that I had from my stepdad who collects books that he finds at the dump in their book bin and at um, consignment shops for me all the time, so this one I would never have come across if it wasn't for him, but I'm actually really enjoying it, so add this to the list of my reindeer games and change, changing that out for I think Anne of Green Gables because um, this has both red and green on it reflections of a wine merchant so I'll check in again later on this um, but that makes me so happy that I don't have to I can take one off the other list and add this one to it so that's my check in for now and I'll check in with y'all again soon bye Hey, uh, one last check-in on Reflections of a Wine Merchant. Um, I just finished this book, and it was a great book. I learned a lot about wine. But here is our check-ins for the last couple chapters. So in chapter 13, we see how vineyards can either transfer or not transfer to the children of the owners, um, and how that affects everyone involved. The wine merchants, the buyers, the sellers, the community. Sometimes it's for the better and sometimes it's for the worse. Um, it all depends on the kids and their interest in the wines and how they were brought up. Um, in chapter 14, we see the discussion of how their perception of wine changes over time and also with different locations and different influences. Um, the New York Times influenced it at one point, making it more of an everyday type of thing, but sometimes it's more fancy. And so the perception of wine changes over time, just like everything else. But um, in chapter 15, the last chapter is basically the conclusion of the book. And we see that um, being a wine merchant is like a marathon, not a sprint. It gets better over time as you build relationships. And um, Rosenthal concludes in the last sentence that like people, wine gets better with age, and so does becoming a wine merchant. And so I really enjoyed this book. I'll be doing a review right after this. Um, I think I'd give it three stars. It was good, but it was, you know, it's, it's one of those books that's not fantastic, but um, it's good. So look for my review on that to come soon also. But that is another prompt done. That's my second prompt for Reindeer Games, my first prompt for the um, Disney Challenge Games, and it's done. So that's it for now. We'll check in with y'all again soon. Keep reading, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.